Alright folks, tomorrow let's play The Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth. In the last episode, we finally, finally defeated challenge number 27, Brains. And now it's time for Pride Day! Challenge 28. Okay, so, this challenge, look at all the rainbow stuff we've got. We've got Rainbow Worm, Rainbow Baby, and the $3 bill. Yeah, let's go. So, obviously, I believe this is kind of a reference to the uh, LGBT. Uh, community, um, which, to be honest, I think it's nice they put that in the game. Personally, on my on my standpoint, I've been a strong supporter of that since day one. So, do you know what? Yeah. Also, is there a subliminal message in this? I'm just saying, because it might just be me talking shit. But this challenge is fairly humane. Fairly normal. You know, it's not like a ball-breakingly tough challenge. But it's a, it's a humane challenge, it's a normal challenge. Which, to be honest, you know, the LGBT community... The only thing that's different between them and heterosexuals is their sexuality. That's it! So, yeah. They're human. Just like everyone else is. Horns, on the other hand, is not human. On that, on that note. But it's only one, I guess. But I think this is the horrible haunts. Like the really horrible haunts. There's something like multiple, like 12 million brimstones. Just stay over there. Yep, this is the one that summons the horrible brimstones. Okay. So, um, with that sort of seriousness point out of the way, uh, we got the right wire coat hanger. And we're going to go to the next floor. One minute, eight seconds in. Okay, so. Um, this challenge ends at it lives. So, fairly simple. And the $3 bill, and the Rainbow Baby, for people who don't know, is it gives your, proves your tears have random effects. So, for example, now I have size. But it's size, but it's proptosis and size. And also fear shot. So pretty much we're going to have, like, every few, every bit, like, for example, now we've got fire mind. And, like, that, I can't even, I don't even know what it is, to be honest, but, yeah, that other move, that's, that other trinket that's not very good. Two troll bombs. Are you serious right now with two troll bombs? Where the hell did I get eight bombs from? I don't know, but I'm quite happy about that. Okay, moving onwards. So, yes, this challenge is fairly simple, actually. It's a nice sort of relaxation time after the horror that was uh, the brains challenge. I like it. I like this challenge, actually. I have already completed it on a different save file, but I want to show you guys it in full. Do you know what? I'm actually going to go in here. In my opinion, it was worth it. Yeah. Now I have half a soul heart. And you know what? I'm going to take this eternal heart. Because I'm a risky bugger. Right. Now, Blayer, where do you get flies from? That's the thing. This With this challenge run, you just have no idea what's going to come up next. Not only with enemies, but with your tears. Which is nice. You can boost your tears. You can get things like Brimstone if you want. I hope to get that because Brimstone... Well, why would I say no to Brimstone? Let's be honest. Why would anyone say no to Brimstone? Oh, God. He turned into a Leaper, which I hit with Fire Mine. Ah, another Soul Heart. This is a nice run so far. This is going well. Monstro is next up. Oh, it's a small room Monstro. That is not nice. But oh, well. Give it time and we'll we'll kick his ass. Oh wow, what have I got? Like small tears proptosis. That's horrible. Proptosis is awesome, but come on. Don't give me that shit. Alright. There we go. So, monstro defeated. And we get devil deal. Ooh, and super bandage. That is very nice. It's a death's touch. Go on, I'll take it. I'll take Death's Touch. I'll take a bit of Death's Touch. Are we now always going to have Death's Touch, but it's going to have different abilities, I believe? I'll take it. Death's Touch is part of the $3 bill, I believe. So, yeah. Better extra bit of that. Also, by the way, you can't remove any of these items. So, pretty much like the worm, the ring, the rainbow worm has got like a, a tick ability on it. So, yeah. You can't remove them. Which is fine, to be honest. I mean, I don't mind that trinket. I mean, it could be worse. It could be something terrible. Wow, there's double shot right there. Bonies don't stand a chance. We've got a bit of uh, liquid there as well for some 
Awesome splash damage. Right, I'm going to bomb here. Just to get another bomb. Or just get an extra bomb. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? More money for me. And I'm going to bomb this just to get through. There you go. Okay, let's see what's in our shop. Red candle. Now that is what I like to see. Could you please give me five cents? No, you can't. You give me two. That's fine. I'm sure I'll be able to get enough money to come back and get red candle. Wow. They blew up and I took a bit of damage there. And now we have a range up pill. Very nice. I don't know why I'm keeping this full card, to be honest. It's a bit odd. Also, we got good. We, we have to go back, Marty. Stop Brown all over again. All right, moving onwards. Hello, fat bat. Meet my reflection tears, which has Mum's contact in it. Yeah, I love this challenge. I really do love this challenge. Look at that. psychic sides now, and now psychic tooth shots. We've got psychic tough love there as well. All right, let's take on our boss. It's hollow. But why the duck? It came free with a telly. All right, dinner, and we've got ourselves a devil deal, which is Guppy's paw. Do you know what? I might as well take it. I'll take Guppy's paw. Why not? If I come into a, a, a bit of a problem, then I can easily sort that out. But for the moment, I'm not having a problem with this challenge. I mean, come on, we're like four rooms in. Four rooms in. We're nearly halfway through. And I've been recording for just under seven minutes. Four minutes I've been I've done this challenge for. That is it. Got that easy. There we go. This is an easy challenge. I just want to mention that. This is a very easy challenge. It can be a little bit difficult. It all depends on what items you get. But more often than not, you're going to be able to get a good item. So you'll be perfectly fine. Now we have my reflection from the look of it right now. Which is fairly tough to try and hit specific enemies, but we're fine. There we go. Alright, I'm going to keep Guppy's paw for the moment, just for possible future devil deals. Look at my psychic size! This would be like the ultimate combination, just psychic size. And now firemind size. That is awesome. Okay, what do we got? We're going to go this way, I think. Well, there's our boss. And we're back to psychic sides again. My favorite is the Fabies. On a literal note now, actually, psychic sides are awesome. And now we've got ordinary sides. There we go, boss time. Dark one. Hello, dark one. How you doing today? And I've got my reflection for this battle against the dark one. Now double shot. Double shot sides. And we also got uh, a bit of a little gish slow effect there. It's not bad. And he's dead. Easy enough. I don't know how I didn't get a devil deal there, but fine. A gold bomb, really. I'm about to leave the floor. We're five minutes in. I don't see the point in like, going to shops and stuff. I'm doing too well already. Death's touch has helped out immensely already. So why do I need to why do I need to bother with anything else? I'm just speed running through this stuff. I mean, look at this. Five minutes in. And now we have Hollow with Fear Shot and Fire Mind. Okay then. Death for you. Moving onwards. I wonder if it reduces our speed just a bit. Anyway. Let's just uh, kill this guy off. And there we go. Money. If we do come across a shop, I'll definitely be using it. And tooth shot for that guy. And concussive tears for this guy. This is just a fun run. This run is so just fun. That's what I call it. Fun. That's what this run is. That's what this challenge is. It, is it even a challenge? No. Because I'm already at my next boss. It's Dank Depths 1. We're six minutes in. Brownie. Do you know what? Even you're not going to annoy me here, Mr. Brownie. Even you are not going to annoy me. Yep, you hit me. Well done. Wow, he's actually not taking much damage. Okay, maybe I need to actually start worrying about Brownie. Can you stop firing corn at me? Stop with the corn firing! I need something better. No, no, that's not, that's not, that's not good. 
That's not good. Well, that might actually work. I mean, he's doing a bit of damage. You get. All right, I'm taking a bit of damage against Brownie here. Just a tad. All right, now it's just him. Easy enough. Just dodge the corn. And you're dead. Okay, so how the hell did we get a devil deal there? We didn't get a devil deal last time. I didn't even get hit last time. All right. Ooh, there you go this way. I'm going to guess Krampus. <laughs> no, it's Horror Babylon. I might as well take it, to be honest. There we go. All right, Horror of Babylon we have. So now, we can do that. One more, and we've got Horror of Babylon charged. And I think that's enough health to get through the rest of the challenge. I'm perfectly honest here. As said, challenge, not difficult whatsoever. We're only 10 minutes in, and we're over halfway through. Curse the unknown. I don't know what my health is. That's fine. All I need to know, pretty much, is... If I take a little bit of damage, well, let's say a heart or two, I know I'm going to need to stock up on Guppy's Paw. That's about it, really. That's not really all I need to know. But apart from that, this challenge is easy as piss. And fun. You don't need to have a challenging run for it to be fun. Just have a fun run like this. A simple fun run in Isaac. I think Edmund put it here specifically so people could calm down after the beans challenge. Not the beans, the brains challenge. So, fair play to you, Edmund. Fair play to you. There we go. More death for you. Double key room. Do you know what? I'm actually going to go in this one. See what we get. We got a lot of money. And you. You're going to blow up and give me one of the keys I used to come in here. Not bad. I'll take it. Toxic poo over there. All right. We have triple shot for greed heads. And also, I see you right there, my friend. I see you there. Do I want to take some damage just to get it? Probably yes. To be honest. I mean, I probably will. I mean, why not? It's just a bit of fun. That's what this challenge is. It's just a, It's always just a bit of fun. Joe, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Welcome, little Chad. Give me my kisses. Let's go upwards now. With my sides of doom. Doom and despair and deception. Well, not, not deception, because it's like, I'm going to kill you with this. You know I'm going to kill you with this. Goddamn host turns up now. Will Fortune. Kind of useless to me right now, I believe. Come on, pop up. There we go. All right, let's check out our shop, shall we? It's greed. Of course it's greed. But the damage I'm doing to greed is immense. Alright, screw it. I'm gonna cut his paw here. God damn it. Okay, well, now you're dead. Now you're dying a horrible, horrible death to Horror Babylon. Because now I am in a full Horror Babylon state. So screw you. Hello, guys. How you doing today? You good? Would you, would you like to die to size? There we go. Okay, moving onwards. Little Chad is kind of useless now, but never mind. Never mind. You know, I mean, eh, he tried. He tried his hardest. Poor guy. Right. There's a key. This is easy enough. There we go. I'm gonna put some bomb, lay down some bombs here, hoping for some heart. We don't get it. Chariot's nice though. Thanks for that. All right. And last but not least, some pills. John, you know, why not? I found pills and ate them. Not the worst thing in the world. Relax. Not the worst thing in the world either, I guess. Hello, mother! How are you doing today? You are blue, mum! I have death touch. You can't win. Alright. It's a fair amount of damage done to her already. That's nice. All right, just keep going. Just keep going at the moment. We're doing well. Ow, bugger you. Never mind. I don't think I'm gonna lose here. I'm gonna check my health in a minute. It's gonna be like, really? I, I didn't lose that much health. Unless so if I keep taking dumb damage to spiders, obviously, then that might go up. Which would be annoying to have happen. Yeah, you squashed your own buddy. 
Right, now we got bloody proptosis size, or at least we did for a bit. We don't have that anymore. Alright, so, yeah, mother. She's, she's dead. Already. Defeated mum. So we got to the womb in 9 minutes 23 seconds. Wow. So, we're moving onwards to the womb now. Just two to go. And my penis fell off. God dang it. Ugh. Anyway, how much health we got? Yeah, we got loads. We got loads of health. I don't know what the problem is. We got loads of health. Hello. Bye. At the hands of Toothshot Scythes. With my reflection. You don't stand a chance. Oh, God. Okay, this could be a trial. Let's go through here. How am I supposed to get through? Oh, that's how. There we go. Just go through there. God damn it. Now I've got to wait. I've got to wait again and dodge. There we go. Gotcha. Do you know what? I'll take Bob's curse. It's like the only decent Bob item. I did say to myself, I don't want to see a Bob item ever again. But you know what? Bob's curse is the best Bob item. Let's be perfectly honest here. Because the rest of the Bob items suck. Bob's rotten head. Terrible. Bob's bladder. Eh. Not the best. Bob's brain, the worst. Especially after that bloody run I had. Ugh. Right, you're killing your friend, that's fine. And now you're dying. And now you're dying. Hooray! Alright! Boss time! Fallen! Free devil deal! Why the hell not? I tell you what, Scythe's homing shot is just so awesome. Look at it! You don't stand a chance, Haunt. I don't care if I get hit. You do not stand a ghost of a chance. Am I right? Ass. And you're dead. Dead cat. Why not at this point? Eh, why not? It gives me an extra heart, so why not? Brilliant is a health up. It's a nine health up. So that's really good, but, you know... We're coming to the end of the challenge already, folks. Alright, no surprise here. This is going to be all done in one video. Which is fairly good, actually. At least I hope it is. There's an arcade there. I'm going to avoid it. So I'm just going to finish off this challenge run. And uh, go on to the next challenge. Because why elongate a challenge that's this simple? Why? There's no point. Okay. What we've got to do is find our last boss room. And I still have a chariot in case I get into trouble, which I highly doubt I'm going to get into trouble. I mean, look at this run. Look at this run. How am I going to get into trouble? I have sides. Usually people who get sides on a run where you actually have tears, they don't lose. Even if they take stupid damage like that. Alright, easy enough. There we go. I say that every time and I'm just waiting for the moment to just not do it right. Hasn't happened as of yet, though. Right. See you, Gurgling. I took a bit longer for you to die. I was kind of, kind of worried at that. In fact, maybe my damage is not as good as I want it to, or at least hoped. But uh, never mind at the moment. That's not our worry. We don't have a worry. This is a fun challenge. Look at these lovely enemies. Look at these beautiful enemies. They're all getting murdered by me. <laughs> Apart from that, though. There we go. Just for him to go. Where is he? Where'd you go, mate? There you are. See ya. Alright, so. Let's go down, shall we? And uh, carry on our merry way. Or we could come to a dead end. God damn it. I came all this way for a dead end. Bloody hell. Kind of wish I kept the full card now. I came all this way. That's kind of cheeky, game. That's kind of cheeky. All that for a dead end. Really? What are we on, by the way? You to row two? Bloody hell, we made it here quickly. Alright, moving onwards. Do you know what? Even you guys. Even you guys. And I hate fighting you. Not a problem today. You're not going to annoy me today. No, you're not. Moving onwards now. I could use both of them. Not going to. Just avoiding them. And I got hit by mistake, but never mind. We're not going to let anything go wrong today. Because this is a fun challenge. Can you stop hitting me, just in case? Because my health is kind of running low. Just in case. You know, just just li li little things here. 
Right, so the biggest challenge I've had at the moment has been this bloody room. And now there's Firemind involved. And now that's blown up. And you've blown up. And now you're getting singed and dying. And now I get Soul Heart. Or Eternal Heart. Thank you. Isaac's Heads! How you doing, m buddies? I didn't say how you doing, monkeys. They're not monkeys, they're Isaac's Heads. Last I checked, they were not monkeys. Alright, what have we got? Perthro! Change! Stars card! I'm gonna keep Chariot for the moment, to be honest. And there's our boss! Oh god dang it. Can you stop with the hitting? Just, just a little bit. I mean, I know you want to try and defend it lives and stuff. Make sure I don't get to it lives, you know, you've done it already. But, seriously, you don't stand a chance. Alright, boss time! It lives! It does live! Oh god. Why am I why am I taking hits? Can you stop taking hits, please? Just a little, just a tad. Alright, no, stop, please now. This is this is not going well now. Do you know what? I'm popping this chariot and I do not give a damn. Die. Alright, there we go. Bit of damage done. Okay. Try gonna guppy's poor as well. Screw this. Screw this noise. Yeah! Now I'm looking stronger than ever. Okay, I'm not looking stronger than ever. I, I, I've gotten a bit careless with damage. But to be honest, could you blame me? This is a fun challenge! Why do I need to take this like... Okay, kind of I need to take this seriously. It is a challenge after all. But come on! Look, see? I am taking it seriously. I'm firing poison bombs! I'm firing bombs! Oh, Teratoma. Hello, buddy! I don't like you very much, and you know it. But you're all getting killed by it lives. Well, how bad's that for you? Very bad, it looks like. Alright, let's uh, push, shove that in. There we go. More damage for you, it lives. And more damage for you. See, I'm using bombs. I'm actually using bombs. See, I'm taking this challenge seriously. I am, honest. Honestly, I am. I mean, look, I, I didn't just kill It Lives in, like, 14 minutes. No, I definitely didn't do that. I did not just do that. No. And you know what? I'll take, I'll take Guppy's head. Yay, now I'm Guppy. Right at the end. And we did it. There we go. And we locked the D8. What the D8 does is it re-rolls your stats. So pretty much it's like an experimental treatment. Uh, I believe it does your damage, tears, speed, and some other stuff. Basically, your, your, just your basic stats, really. So yeah, that was Pride Day. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very fun challenge. Very fun. So, um, in the next episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, it's time to get serious again, because we'll be doing our penultimate challenge, challenge number 29, Onan Streak. I'll see you then.